Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how this device can save you from hundreds of dollars in damages. This is an important video for all those who have off-grid solar power systems. So stay till the end to understand what this device is, how it can help your system and how you can wire it in to save your equipment from damages. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'm now in my kitchen. As you can see, I'm heating a pot of water on the induction cooker at 400 watts. And there is a light bulb also connected to this same line from my off-grid solar power system. I want you to note the brightness of the LED light when this turns off. Note the flash, note the flash of light. I want you to concentrate on this light bulb. At lower power levels, every time my induction cooker turns off, there's an instantaneous increase in the brightness of the LED bulb. It's almost like a flash. Have you noticed it yet? There? I'm sure you, had, you would have seen the same effect on your off-grid systems. This is caused by voltage spikes in your inverter's power output. Every time you turn off a load running on the inverter, the excess energy, has to, the excess energy stored in the inverter's massive inductors has to be sent somewhere. This causes voltage spikes, which is very evident as this flash from our LED bulb. Another example of a similar phenomenon you can find in your house is the water hammer effect in pipelines. Similar to the voltage in wires is the pressure in pipelines. This bidet and tap are both connected to the same piping. Notice that every time the bidet is closed, the pressure of the water from the tap almost immediately increases. This momentary increase in pressure is similar to the voltage spike we saw on our off-grid system, that flash of light. So what is the importance of this and why should we control it? The problem is these voltage spikes can easily reach 600 to 1000 volts. Our inverter has a lot of sensitive electronics, specifically the output MOSFETs. They are very sensitive to high voltage spikes. A voltage spike of around 600 volts for a few milliseconds is enough to fry these MOSFETs. And thus, the mere fact of turning off an appliance has the potential to destroy your inverter and other sensitive electronic appliances that might be running at the same time. So, now let's come to our little device here. This device is called a metal oxide varistor or MOV. Its number shows 14D431K. So this means its cutoff voltage is 430 volts. Below this threshold voltage, it has very high resistance. But once it reaches the threshold voltage, its resistance drops dramatically and that allows for the voltage spike to discharge and thus effectively cutting the voltage spike at 430 volts. These have very quick reaction times and immediately return to the high resistance values when the voltage is back below the threshold. Now let, let's take a look at my protection box and see how I've wired this metal oxide varistor into my setup. As you can see, the output of, from my inverter comes through this wire and comes into this point. The input live, I have connected it through a circuit breaker and from the output of the circuit breaker, I've connected my metal oxide varistor here. This is the live wire and this here is the neutral. So basically, this is connected between the live and neutral. 
like you like how you would connect the load this is the diagram of how i attached it so with this diy surge protector device i have peace of mind that the voltage on my off-grid setup won't go above 430 volts during voltage spikes and that my inverter and other sensitive electronics will not get destroyed if you have any further questions please let me know in the comments below if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos thanks for watching bye